Wild animals waiting to die? Can you believe it? Every 15 minutes, an elephant is killed for tusks. Three rhinos are killed for horns every day. Nearly 600 animals are classified as endangered in the Red Book, and up to eight species of pangolin are threatened with extinction. These alarming numbers speak to a serious decline in wildlife populations, especially in Africa. So who caused the number of wild animals to drop so drastically? Let's find out right now in this video. You may not know, wild animals play an important role in ecological balance, ensuring a healthy living environment for humans. Wild animals are considered as a valuable resource promoting the comprehensive development of society, an important link for the ongoing biological transformation chain. Wild animals bring high value, high economic value. Not only that, but they also contribute to creating cultural beauty in human life. Despite such an important role and significance, many wild animals have been cruelly poisoned and killed, which has caused the world to fall into a state of alarm. Conservation of the diversity of flora and fauna in the wild is an urgent issue. The extinction of wildlife species is not simply caused by habitat loss, but directly by human hands. The main cause of animal decline is population growth and the development of tools of labor that have led humans to destroy nature in order to expand their lives. The shrinking forest area, environmental pollution, and global climate change are also indirect causes of wildlife decline. In addition, the significant impact of human exploitation has encroached upon and destroyed the habitats of many wildlife species, especially activities such as deforestation, construction of hydroelectric power plants, burning forests for arable land, reclaiming agricultural land, fishing, mining activities, and many other human impacts has caused many animal species to have lost in number. As wildlife, as widespread wildfires become more frequent, scientists are also racing to understand how animals endure to adapt to the event. If fires break out, people with air conditioning system and air filters will be able to protect themselves by staying at home. But wildlife has no way out. Due to years of poor deforests, Poor forest management combined with climate change, fires are increasing in size and intensity. So now, how do wild animals deal with these changes, with these dangers? There have been many species that have been severely impacted or even died due to these fires. The toxic gases produced in the fire can make it difficult for animals to breathe and serious affect their health. If not detected and treated in time, they may not live long. Understanding how smoke affects animals is important and necessary so that scientists can identify the most vulnerable species and see if they need a management or conservation plan. However, little is known about how 
wildlife smoke effects animals. The actions of hunting and trapping animals with different purposes has reduced the number of wildlife animals to a dizzying speed. Many animals have been trapped by humans and seriously injured. What will happen if they do not get help and rescue in time? Surely there will be countless more creatures dying forever with painful wounds from these traps. The mistaken belief that the effective parts of the animal body such as ivory, rhino horn, or pangolin scales can cure diseases along with the habitat of abusing nature, using animal and plants, while animals to serve the needs of life have been ingrained in the culture of many countries for a long time. Therefore, for personal gain, many wild animals have been mercilessly killed for humans to take a part of their body. The wildlife trade has led to unprecedented levels of killing, which not only seriously threaten the survival of some rare animals, but also affects economic and political stability in many regions in the world. These painful numbers make the whole world mourn. An estimated 1,556 animal species have been identified as endangered or near extinct and in need of protection. With a hefty price tag, ivory is becoming one of the most valuable items in the world. Therefore, the number of elephants being killed is increasing in all the countries around the world. African elephants are in danger of extinction due to illegal poaching for ivory. According to statistics, a total of 600,000 African elephants die every year, about 38,000. This figure is based on the illegal ivory trade and it exceeds the annual birth rate of animals. That means if the world doesn't take action, African elephants could face extinction in the next 15 years. Not only elephants, but also rhinos are on red alert. An estimated 1,000 rhinos are poached every year, and this number is constantly increasing as demand for rhino horns has not diminished. Rhino poaching is very common in Southern Africa, as in the last eight years, a quarter of the world's rhinos have been killed in this country, according to accounting for 80% of the rhino population in the region. At the beginning of the 21st century, more than a thousand tigers were poached. A large portion compared to the current 3,500 tigers remaining in the wild, published by animal rights groups. Lions are considered a symbol of strength in the dominant species in Africa, but they are also mercilessly poisoned to date about 20,000 lions are still alive in the wild in Africa. Well, a century ago, the continent had 200,000 lions. According to some sources, it is believed that lions were poisoned mainly because of farmers' re revenge for their cattle being eaten and spoiling their crops. And the weapon that people use are pesticides and other toxic substances. According to the report, human wildlife conflict arises when both live in the same area, often resulting in people killing animals in self-defense or revenge, leading to the risk that the species could be destroyed, become extinct. Human wildlife conflict, along with other threats, has led to a dynamic decline in the population of species that were once very crowded. While species that were once small in population are shrinking, pushed to the brink of extinction.
It is estimated that the conflict has resulted in more than 75% of the world's wildcats being killed. The same applies to many other terrestrial and marine carnivores such as polar bears and Mediterranean monk seals, or large herbivores such as elephants. More than ever, nature is calling for help and needs to the joint efforts of the whole community. So what do we need to do to conserve wildlife in their habitat? The protection of animal species, especially wild animals, include those that are in danger of extinction. It's becoming increasingly urgent and raising people's consciousness is the most effective way to keep animals from being in danger. Protecting the environment, protecting forests, and protecting natural resources are the top measure for wild animals to live safely because all animals need a place to live. A place to live and a place to live. A place to eat. Losing their habitat means they will not be able to survive in these conditions. More than ever, along with the strengthening of crime suppression, strictly handle those who illegally trade, transport, and possess wild animals and wildlife products. It is necessary to further promote communication to the community to raise awareness about the importance of wildlife for humans and for the ecosystem. Manage breeding and development of wildlife animals and plants more effectively and transparently. In addition, it is necessary to use the media as a tool to change the behavior of the social community. Contribute to support the implementation of legal regulations to prevent the consumption of rhino horn, ivory, and other products. The establishment of gene banks storing genetic samples of all species of plants and animals in the wild can reduce our fear of species extinction. Although it is not possible to search and accumulate genetic samples of all living species on Earth, researchers hope to be able to collect and preserve genetic samples of some rare species through cryopreservation. Countries around the world need to continue to promote international cooperation and protection, protecting nature, fighting against wildlife trade, and effective protecting and preventing hunting and trading activities, illegal consumption of endangered and precious and rare wildlife resources. Illegal sawing of horns causes pangolins to be very hurt. They can become infected and die if not detected in time for treatment. As a result, some sanctuaries have implemented rhino horn removal as a method to deter poachers. Veterinarians cut the horns near the base, not the hole, to prevent the rhinos from bleeding to death. In addition, some animals have evolved to protect themselves. The tuskless African elephant is an amazing testament to evolution and natural selection to protect these species from world ivory poaching. Maintaining the population of growth of wildlife species and the good health of ecosystems will help human societies survive, provide food, and provide livelihood for all. However, catastrophic impacts such as casualties, loss of property, and livelihood weigh heavily on the communities living with wild species. Often in developing countries with high biodiversity, this leads to precarious financial situations and affect the physical and mental health of these communities. Because wild animals do not harm us, even they provide many benefits to human economically, medically, and artistically. So there is no reason for humans to kill and hurt them.
Protecting wildlife is protecting our own lives. Wildlife protection is the responsibility of the whole community. In particular, the community has an impact role in preventing illegal hunting, trading, and composition, consumption of wild animals, as well as other threats. Potential threats of a pandemic, the risk of transmission from wildlife to humans. Today's video has come to an end. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, like, and share this video to support us. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.